We're live. We're live. Okay, guys. Thanks for waiting. Hope you ran off and got a snack. Use the restroom. Check your email. Play the game of solitaire. Whatever. Welcome back. Nice to see you. My brother. Three years older than me. Nice guy. Of course, I've lived with him for 53 years now. No, not quite. 50 plus years. He's my brother. Every so often, he does something amazing. Two years ago, he brought over Christmas, a birthday present on his way. Family came in from Denver on their way out to the lake for a few weeks of vacation and dropped off. I don't know where he found him, how much he paid for him, but basically, I want to say at least a gar not garbage, at least a grocery bag full of gold key issue, gold key comics from the 70s. Not even be the 60s. There's some stuff in here that's wacky and crazy. I have not read them all. I'm not going to read them all because a lot of them from this period, the Tom and Jerry's aren't that great. The Mickey, the Walt Disney stuff. Is reprinting at best. It's reprinting Karl Barks. At worst, it's the original stuff. Is just Karl Barks has already retired. He had written a few things like uh, the Junior Woodchucks. He was doing Louis Junior Woodchucks title, but they just cannot find anybody. Like, and that's part of the reason why it collapsed. But let's just dig in because this. And again, none of this stuff is in mint condition because it's Gold Key Comics. Kids read them, traded them. Roll them up in their back pockets, toss them in a box somewhere. And again, these are like, you'll see them on YouTube. These are like garage fine automobiles. You know, it's, it's like, hey, we found a Port 1966 Porsche that's been sitting in a barn for 30 years. Will it start? And then the next video is them washing it, just washing the dirt off the body. So that's what this stuff is really. I mean, they're not tattered or falling apart, but here we go. Walt Disney Comics and Stories, like I said. This is, okay. If nothing else, the gags are good, right? Here, get you close up. We do a little scary, reading scary stories, so then we'll get So for example, we get Nor'easter on Cape Quack, which is originally from Walt Disney Comics 256. This is number Walt Disney Comics, volume 36, number four. Um, I don't even know if they put a number. I could look up the issue number. I believe this is now, because there's another story code on top of this, which says it's number 424. Which could be this issue because it looks like it's a November 75 title. Okay. But again, and it's Karl Barks badly reproduced. But again, great storytelling because it's Karl Barks. And if you do not know who Karl Barks is, of course, the other great thing about these is that, well, this is a Whitman, Gold Key Western Whitman. Um, Brand because of a whole bunch of things, but Western publishing. But the best things, of course, in these 70s comics aimed at kids are the ads. For example, Instant Replay, $6 million man. <laughs> Learned that as a kid. I cannot remember a single episode except for the one with Bigfoot and the aliens. Here we have a Madame Mim story with, uh, excuse me, Chip and Dale. I love this. <laughs> Chip and Dale. Starts with Big Bad Wolf, right? Big Bad Wolf of mainstay in Disney Comics. The three little pigs. Man of Mim shows up. And the three little pigs. And they gotta find a way to fight her. Now here we have 1001 free gifts, samples, books, etc. Just yours. Yours for the asking. If you send in a dollar postage pay. Free giveaways out of Newark, New Jersey. 
As you know, everybody remembers these from that period. Fun tricks, free things, mail today. And this is from sending to Gandalf Products. Again, same company. All of these are, I think, this is North Belmore, New York. Here's this hundred giveaways. This is from New York, New Jersey. Gandalf Products was the king of comic ads in those days. Gandalf, of course, from Lord of the Rings, but he also uh, made T-shirts and I think posters and whatever was they could do mail order. There's Scamp, again, another. People are like, Scamp? Who's he? Is he the son of the tramp? And uh, God, what was his name? Lady and the Tramp. The Tramp, yeah. Tramp, I think it was his name. Duchess, I think it was the dog's name. See? Gandalf products. And you see these all the time in gold key issues. Patches. Cartoon figures. Embroidered cloth patches. And these are numbers 36 through 71, which makes you wonder what the other ones are. I think they were like the greatest. Here we have Mickey Mouse the Snoozer. Which I think was a kind of serialized. This again, Mickey, Goofy, fighting crime. Another Gandalf ad. And these are iron on transfers. They're not selling you the t shirt. They just sell you an iron on. And that's a lost technology. It used to be popular all the way up through the 80s. Even in the 90s, Spider Man is on here. I'm with Stupid. Yep, that's a classic. And we have the best of all Disney comics. These are, I don't think these are quite Dynabrites, but they're pretty darn close. I have a few of these. And each one was, no, you get all four for $6 plus 50 cents shipping and handling. Mickey Mouse in the. Bat Bandit of Gizzard Gulch, I think. Donald Duck of Frozen Gold. Mystery of the Swamp. Donald Duck goes to the Grotto. And Uncle Scrooge stories from 1953 1954. The first issue. And here we have another Gandalf ad for tricks, practical jokes. And the inside back cover is Dusty or Sky. Learn half fashion dolls that are that do fun things. Both are knockout in their trendsetter fashions. Did Barbie ever have a horse? Then on the back we have a Phantom Strikes. Whoa. Okay, I thought this was an easy bake oven. No, Kenner. Kenner. Okay, you know Star Wars. Kenner. Easy bake oven. No, they have. And this is a. Oh, excuse me. Wait. Okay. This is a the fan of strikes. This is, I'm going to cover at the bottom here. This is your regular um, cartoon comic book ad for Easy Bake Oven, right? But look down here. Hey, kids, now you can bake potato chips in your Easy Bake Oven. Easy Bake Potato Chip Maker. Glazed Potato Chip Maker. Potato Chip Mixes. Bowl Seasoning Special Baking Pans. Or you can even use your mother's oven. Look at that. I mean, if I was a guy, if I was a boy at this time, I would love it. Forget the easy bake oven. Yeah, that's cool. My, yeah. If I was a little kicked, no, 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 no. If I'm going to make cookies, I'm going to use the big oven and make dozens. No. But a potato chip maker. Come on. Potato. One moment. One. Just one moment. I got to look this up because I have never heard of this before. And probably never will again. If I hadn't seen that thing at the bottom, I probably would have not even. There is an, yes. If you Google Betty Crocker Easy Bake Potato Chip Maker Mini Food Fun, there is a 14 minute video on YouTube. Oh my. Oh, Amazon sells a microwave potato chip maker. Must include Ken. Okay, I'm going to click on that. Because I just want these. Toy ad. Easy Bake History. Kenner Collector. Okay, this one. This is what? This is 75, 76? Yeah. That's a PDF. Interesting. Okay. Anyway. 
Wow. Okay. Mind blown. We're all. <laughs> See, here's a rare photo ad from Gandalf. Some of the posters they sold. Again, and this is, we're talking 1974. Yeah, copyright 1974. So, again, the counterculture thing is gone. It's, you know, at this point, it's trending over into disco and, and uh, drugs and all sorts of things. But of course, kids. And here, you have to have a, they're there, and here are the other, the first thirty-five. You're wondering what about those other thirty-five? Those first thirty-five batches. There you are. The non-cartoon ones. The ones for teenagers. Okay. I'm just gonna take a quick scan. Oh my! Here's a cool ad. Invite your friends over for a haunting. Get your sense of and there's 88 many posters, only 65 cents. I wonder if they're stamps. <laughs> oh, it did say many. Uh, incense magic. Add your personal touch to party, stationary, linen, and atmosphere of your home. That's right, folks. If you use this incense, you'll get girls. Kind of like Axe for the 70s. Oh, this is a classic uh, cartoon ad, comic book ad. And again, this is Gandalf Products. Mar Margie gets free gifts for the whole family. Consumer Gazette. Just sent for your copy of the Consumer Gazette. They get all the free things you want, too. One dollar. That's the ad. This is the comic book ad. For that ad I mentioned, we can just go blow yourself up to poster size. Hubba hubba. Send that to your boyfriend in the army. What, make your own custom watch face. Jigsaw puzzles. Dartboards. Yeah, could you imagine? Oh, Grandma sent us a puzzle of herself. Okay, I guess we gotta do it now. Other, oh, yep, gotta have those sea monkeys in there, and then various uh, entrepreneurial. And again, it opens. Oh, and Disneykins, I don't know what these are worth now. There was two sets, 16 pieces each at three bucks. And again, get off because they couldn't afford photography, or actually, the comic books couldn't do photo. Resolution very well on the, this paper, even though it's newsprint. They had some guy draw. Don't know what those Dizzykins are, what it worth now, but there you are. So here is my hair is a mess. I'm just going to look at the ads on the back from now on because I could be here all day. 100 piece toy soldier. Classic, classic, classic. Oh. Bikes, shoe on earth, wow. Whiz, taffies, caramels. But instead of enough of Prusa purchase, you get a cute, cool little frisbee ring. You can't call it frisbee, though, that's trademarked. Oh, yeah, monster sized posters and the Polaris, Polaris nuclear sub. Yes, you can fight the commies with your own $7 submarine. Your own Instamatic. Remember? Nobody remembers Instamatics. Except old fogies like me and older. But those flash cubes right there. This, uh, 44 camera. I wonder what kind of film it takes. But yeah. I don't want to use 126. Ooh, Columbia. Come up. Columbia House. What's the big. No uh, let's see. Carpenter, Chicago. Rod Stewart. Every picture tells a story. Rita Franklin live at Fillmore West. And again, this is. An example of photo reproduction on. I think it was probably cheaper to do the, to have some guy, probably a high school or a college grad, college kid. Hey, we need you to draw these for this comic ad. We're too cheap to photograph them. Oh, here you go, Mark Jewelers. Custom rings. 
military ammo and rooms. Oh, and here we have an example. These are like the Disneykins, but they're generic animals. Oh, Tootsie Roll. Damn it. No, Toot Sweet. You Toot Sweet turns yummy Tootsie Rolls into whistles. There are new grape, strawberry, and butterscotch Tootsie Rolls, too. Mm, boys and girls can tweet, tweet them and eat them and teeth them. It's a sweet treat that you can tweet and eat. New Toot Sweet is by Mattel. So that's a cool idea. <coughs> it's kind of like Play-Doh, but you're using Tootsie Rolls. Don't get that Play-Doh, folks. Just huff it. Oh, what the aroma. I love, oh, here we go. Win a $1,000 college scholarship, another grand prize awards. I wonder if they originally, they were Junior Sales Club of America. Again, this has been parodied all over the place. What's the ad next to it? Gold Key Comics, four-month club. Ooh. If you send us a whole $5 now, you'll save all us. That time will work a billion you for four months, and we'll pass the savings right back to you. We'll send you four extra comics for you. You'll get 52 comics for less than 10 cents each. The Gold Key Comics Club. They were selling subscriptions, folks. A rare Gold Key Western. The Gold Key Comics for a month club. What a great idea. You're getting four comics a month. 48 comics, and they said you had an extra month on top of that. Every week. I wonder if it's every week or if it's just a bundle. Here we have the Gold Key Gold Key Comics Club News. Which shows you all the stuff that's coming out. Tarzan of the Apes, Tarak, Son of Stone, Korak, Son of Tarzan. But please believe it or not, Family Affair. Here we have Tom and Jerry, Yogi Bear, Flintstones, Uncle Scrooge, Jetsons, Huckleberry Hound, Huey, Dewey, Louie, Porky Pig, Walt Disney Comics and Stories, Beep Beep, The Roadrunner, which is weird. I got a few of you. I'll show you this in a moment. And Christmas Parade. Whoa, an actual human in a Mickey Mouse story. She's actually kind of cute. I wonder who did the artwork on that. That's pretty good. It is Secret of the Black Box, if you're wondering. Wow. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, and there's your Betty Crocker, General Mills. Easy Bake Oven, another comic strip, comic book, comic game. Man. Ooh, fishing. $12.95, that's expensive for back then. Oh, and they're advertising the Gold Key Digest. Probably sold at newsstands. Oh, and here's Dinosauri, a pair of Daredata. Because, again, to get the subscription rate, you had to have text pages. Superhero comics, they just ran a letter column. See, there's another text page. That's why you have these stories in here, because to qualify for the special magazine, periodical, shipping rates, mail, Daisy. We'll shoot your eye out, kid. Um, they're, uh, you have to have, have that. Ooh, I think I already showed you those. Yep, Gandalf. Daisy, trick hands, freebies, patches. Ooh, there's a double page spread of iron ons and patches. Gandalf. PO Box 38, New York, New York, 10022. Yeah. Oh. Baseball cards from Hostess. I wonder what those are worth. I don't know how rare those are. Joe Morgan, Steve Garvey, Hamilton Fisk, I think his name was. Okay. And here's Seals Leader Sales Leadership Club, probably the same company. Yep, just sell card greeting cards. Folks will buy it from you. You'll make millions. Grit. Oh. I don't know if any of those issues. Have, I read one once. I, once in a once, I think once or twice, 
And I think it was in an antique store. I came across a copy of Grip newspaper. You never saw it anywhere except in comics like this. And it was like, God, what a boring newspaper. I mean, and technically, I guess it was a national newspaper. Oh, meet Dusty, America's most beautiful doll. Sure, she is. But this one, she actually uh, she plays golf, volleyball, and baseball. Or softball. Baseball, I think it is. And tennis. That's a cool idea. So she's an action figure. Oh, here's the Revolutionary War uh, toy soldiers. Yep, here's the original ad I was telling you about for the Easy Bake Oven. Now, this is interesting. Daisy. Getting a Daisy BB gun is like getting a good grade. You have to work hard. There's a kid in class, of course. You know, if a kid's got his book up like that, you know he's reading a comic in the back. That's like the first the first week of teacher education. It's like, of course, most guys know this because you did that as a kid. But look at this. That is Terrific Tom. It's the title of that comic book. I don't think it is a real comic. But yeah, you know. No kid reads an oral book like that. 50 Happy Years Sweepstakes. 50 Trips to Two to Walt Disney World, Florida, Disneyland, California. Airfare Hotel, three days, two nights, $100 for meals and incidentals. That's a lot of money back then. Free ticket books to theme park rides and attractions, and 50 additional prizes. Then we have a deluxe comic of Robin Hood, because the movie is coming out, I guess, again. Well, that might have been the first time it came out. A lot of stories in there, though. Yeah, blah, 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 yeah. Oh, here we go. I think this is a Schwinn ad, is it? Sears Sports Center. A lot of empty space in that ad, but there you go, Sears. It's going to be kind of hard to cut out that coupon because it's on the. Yeah, they weren't thinking when they designed that ad. Oh, wow. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Let's play new sea action football. Wow. It's a slideshow football game. Choose from eight offensive plays, six defensive plays, over 208 possible play results. So I guess you put an offensive play, they put a defensive play, and then the game tells you what you the result was i guess they overlay the two slides who's this kenner me i like this the old vibrating uh, football table now there are a few comics i have these i bought myself because i found them at comic cons it's like a three dollar five dollar table these don't sell for that much really these are you know, dollar comics mostly. But I found one. It was the... Uh, ooh, here is a Twinkies ad with Sylvester and Tweety. So basically, it's Sylvester's trying to get him. And... Tweety's doing art in his cage, I guess. But anyways, I was saying, I found it was an issue of the Adams Family cartoon. The cartoon, okay? After the TV show, they did a cartoon. And the cartoon was basically them in a camper going around the country. And this comic, because I, I bought it because of the comic, because they come to New York City and a swindler sells them Central Park. Brilliant. Not the Brooklyn Bridge. No. Here. I got this nice big piece of farmland over here. I'll sell it to you cheap. So they buy Central Park and start to redecorate. Clarity ensues. But within that was almost like a separate second comic book because I think it was Kenner or Ideal had bought out and they had put their entire toy catalog in there. 
illustrated, I think. That's the photograph. But it's this wonderful time capsule of the oh, toy catalog. Um, geez. Okay. Let's just go through this really fast. I'm just going to look at the... Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Donald Duck, guys. Um, 74. Lock Erie Monster from Donald Duck number 59. And now we're on number... 150 out of 100 issues ago, they reprinted a story. And there's more Carl Bark stuff in the back. Um, ooh, SSP, Supersonic Power Classy Crashers. What a great idea. Build a car, smash them together, they go to pieces, you rebuild them. Wonderful idea. That's how Steven Spielberg got started. He liked to crash his toy trains in his. Uh, and I said, no. So he started filming the train crashes. And that's how he became the Steven Spielberg director. Super values. Wow. Rings, dog tags, surprise package, puzzles, studs. No, not those kind of studs. <laughs> I'm kind of a hesitant s &M guy. Yeah, I wear high studs on my clothing, but it's not it's denim instead of leather. Monster robot. Yes, you can take over the world with your monster robot. No one will know it's you inside. Easy to build plan. <laughs> it's only a dollar. Wouldn't that be great if, if Lex Luthor had the sign on it? Yeah, okay. I, this is not really a good thing to take over the world with, but I can sell it to a kid for a dollar. Endangered animals by Ravel. Oh, wow. I should ask my model friends if they have any of these. Gorilla, Komodo Dragon, Condor, and Rhino. You're trying to be ecological. Okay. Do you need extra money? Of course not. Well, I gotta pay my my comic books. So yeah, maybe. Wouldn't that be great? Why? This is just brilliant. This is fifty years too late. But what if instead of selling grit or greeting cards, you sold comics door to door? Yeah. Oh yeah, I used to read those as a kid. Donald Duck. Oh yeah, I'll buy that. Here we go, Snoopy Pin Pals. What are these worth? Holy f! Whoa. Penis Jewelry, Gandalf. Horrible closing it if it is. Oh, God. What was I just talking about? I can't remember now. Anyway, yeah, let's sell it door to door. Comic store. I got some new ones too here. Should I spider right back in the day? Yeah, here. I got this crazy issue spider there, man. Oh, yeah, I'll buy that. Can't you see your subscription? Sure. Yeah, my kids will like it. And if you don't sell them, you got the comics there for yourself. These things never get old. Okay, here's a Twinkie. Whoa. Beep Beep the Roadrunner. Wiley Coyote. Daffy Duck comes in to save the day. Holy crow. And again, it's Gold Key. That's why it's in this Disney ad. I don't think there were any tweaky ads for Disney characters. Oh, here we go. Bionic Woman and her bionic beauty. So <laughs> Seriously. Because her head turns and her bionic ear pings. Brush and comb her beautiful hair. Yes. Designer collector fashion is available. Again, this is an action figure, but an action fashion figure. Oh, I should trademark that. Here we go. Dusty, bubble and bath and shower. <gasps> Wait a moment. She's in the shower in her underwear, isn't she? You can go. 
and her horse Nugget. Horse probably lost his Nuggets. Whoa, here's a cool one. Walt Disney Tinkerbell with the evil stepmother is a witch. And Snow White. Here. And Jimmy Cricket. Because why not? Oh my. Here's something you don't see too. The Incredible Hulk and Friends. This is a Goki comic, but it's a Marvel ad. Selling Hostess Cupcakes. I don't know if these characters, Toad Man, I don't know if they ever got appeared in the regular. Oh, here we go. Yes, here's your classic poster ad. Now I'm just going to zoom in on Raquel Welch. <sighs> But again, um, and kids would buy these. And I don't even know if they ever sent these back, stripped them or whatever, if they just kept them on the spinner rack for a year. Because again, there is no issue number on here. There's no date. You can just leave them there in the drugstore on Main Street and no one would know. Oh, so much of the Disney Kins. 50 piece, three ring circus. That's a cool idea. In case those, you know, that Roman, that modern thousand piece army thing is too much for you. Hush puppies. Giving you a free t shirt. You pick up girls with that. Oh, look at those sad brown eyes. Of course I'll date you. Oh, here we go. The dome house for the Bionic Woman. In case Steve Austin ever wants to show up. And yes, Steve Austin was supposed to marry her. And then she had her accident. And I was like, you're not the woman I used to know. And now they're just friends. Although I think they did eventually marry in a made for TV movie. One of those reading movies. I'm sorry, dear. You're stronger than me. This will never work. She was actually a tennis pro when she had her accident. Quality woodworking tools from Handy Andy. Oh, not bad. Three tool sets. That's kind of cool. I wonder how much they're charging for this. Handy any little carpenter shop. Make a birdhouse. Carpenter's chest. Oh, kind of like a maker culture. Uncover the head secrets of nature. Are we going to discover the secret of life, Mr. Wizard? We will if we're not careful, Timmy. Gemstone tumbler, biology, geology, chemistry, microscope, weather forecaster, tabletop spotter telescope. Yeah, you're using that to watch, look for stars, right? Yeah. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Human growth and learning. From a skill craft. And here's a Richie Rich ad. Wow, for hostess. Fortune teller, evil forces. You know they're evil because they have an ugly face. The big noses. The bigger the nose, it's that's just genetics in the Richie Rich comics. The bigger the nose, the more evil the person. Here's Sad Sack and Hostess. And in Sad Sack Jr. Oh, yeah, Knapsack, his kid brother, which means he has a sister or brother as well. I don't know. I don't want to know. I just like this. I, I really like the sad sack. Uh, oh, here's a double, yeah, double page spread for Skillcraft. I just showed you. Um, yeah, the sad sack uh, vacation issues where they'd go to a state is like, hey, kids, we're going to teach you all the fun stuff about the state. Aren't you glad you spent 50, 25 cents on this comic? These are 30 cents, by the way. Eh, not much in there. Okay. Oh, this looks interesting. Whoa. Jokes by Cracky. 
Cracky was kind of their mascot, although you don't really see him in the end. Number five. Oh, amazing. No doubt at all. Four skizzes, white eyed, full color, Moppet paintings reproduced for your home. The eyes follow you. No, I'm serious. Look at those. Those eyes will follow you because they're looking straight at you. No matter if you got one of those paintings, they're looking straight at you. No matter where you are in that room looking at that painting, those eyes are looking straight at you. That's the secret. SSP racers with uh, rip cords. Not a cool idea. Oh, there's a new house ad. Gold Key Comics, joke's on you. What goes larger the more you take away from it? A hole. Dad, will you change this quarter for me? Certainly. Thanks, make it a half dollar. What can go up a chimney down, but can't go down a chimney up? First of all, I had to parse that. It's an umbrella. Can you stand on your head? No, it's too high. Again, they needed a text page, so kids send in comp, send in jokes. I don't know what they get from 50 cents sent back, maybe? I let's see. I think all you get is your name and print. Wide-eyed animals in full color for your home. Rascal the tiger, Peanuts the elephant, Theodore the bear, and Linus the lion. Uh oh, stripped, which means they probably sent the cover back to get credit, which means they didn't probably resold us for, you know, on the cheap underground. What they would call returns. Here's the Bionic Battles. School Steve Austin versus Maskatron. There's also a test pilot suit, a special mission outfit, and outer space suit. I think they tried to relaunch him, reboot it, but didn't take didn't take for some reason. Anyway, um, huh. again, a lot of these the ads repeat. Oh, here we are. No, sorry. Uh, sales leadership, Romans. Pass this test, and you may earn three hundred dollars once or twice. Sunshine Art Studios. Do you really want to make money? Are you able and willing to do a little work to get it? Do people like and trust you? Can you name five neighbors or relatives that you know well? And again, this is selling greeting cards. Can you find five suckers in your neighborhood? Yeah. You know, the one year's years reboot would be a lot better if they just pushed it forward to the 70s. Not a 70s show. I mean, I know they did the 70s show, but those were teenagers. You know, middle school kids. I wouldn't watch that. Goldberg's is a little light like that for the 80s. But it's a whole family. I just want the kids. See, another strip comic. What is it? What is it that you cannot see but is always before you? The future. That's deep. That's Whoa, here's some more philosophy for you. Fortune teller, you will be unhappy until you are 40. Client. And what? 
and then you'll get used to it. I can't argue with that, unfortunately. That ain't bad, gang. What's this guy's story, man? Yeah, you spy a daisy. You give your kid a daisy gun, he'll grow up to be like me. Yeah, but I wear this. <laughs> I wear this deer leather. Fuck, I wear this buckskin jacket everywhere I go. Ooh. Okay, clubs. Your future as a dietitian? That's a veterinarian. I found one of these for a librarian. I shared it online. What a hoot. Oh, and by the way, I just have to give a shout out to whoever does the lettering. Good job. Here's more. Again. Oh, we got to fill the pages. So let's run some cartoon comics, some drawings sent by, 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 our, by our readers. It won't cost us anything. No payments are made, and no contributions can be returned. Clark Bar. Major League Iron Odds. Oh, no, they're selling T-shirts. The actual T-shirt. How many are on here? 16, 18, 23. I want to cut this short after a while. Oh, more Daisy. That would be great if you were like this mass, mad shooter or whatever, they, or whatever they're called now. And you were shooting people with a BB gun? What do I, oh, my. The Beatles Yellow Submarine. Large, large characters, many over a foot tall. Pop out art decorations for a dollar. What are those worth now? And then we have our Christmas annual. Still a popular thing in Britain, I believe. These big cardboard covers, cheap newsprint, usually 150 pages or so. What is the hardest thing about learning to ride a bicycle? The pavement. Oh, and here we have hidden letters in the artwork. And now the Gold Key Cub, 48 issues a year for $5 without the extras. It's just $48. A cool combination, a gold key poster comic. Yellow submarine. These are comics. Poster comic. Holy cow. So basically, these are 25 cents. And they fold it up. It's for, you know, fold it twice to fit inside. So it's four times the size of this. But wow. Yellow Submarine, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Dark Shadows. Do any of those exist in that condition with the poster still inside? Probably not. Hmm. That's funny. Good Christmas color. Ooh, the 500, 5 millionth Easy Bake Oven Sweepstakes. Can I celebrate that 5 million Easy Bake Ovens have been sold to little girls like me? Really? Wow, 5 million? Five million easy bake ovens. That's amazing. Grand prize winner receives a full a full size range for your mom. A special golden easy bake oven for you. Golden, gold plated. I don't know. A twenty two hundred fifty dollars shopping spree. Nineteen seventy five. Wow. Any bro. In addition, 
Easy Bake Oven birthday party. Any girl born on November 4th, 1964. Easy Bake Oven's birthday. Celebrate it. Mark your calendars. November 4th. Who sends in a copy of her birth certificate receives a free Easy Bake Oven. So this is 10 years? 1972. It's not even 10 years, and I've sold 5 million Easy Bake Ovens. Dirty Time Company. Oh, wow. Wow. These are kind of cool. Okay. Get the original Spear Agnew watch from the Dirty Time Company. Now only $13.95. Spear Agnew. Dickie Nixon. Moshe Diane. W.C. Fields. Laura Hardy. Republican. Democrat. Right there. Courtesy of Gandalf. Productions. Here we go. Mix and build fun time products. Super construction scene. Yeah. Cheapo Lego knockoff just to build houses. It's like, wait a moment. You got, <laughs> you've already got Lincoln Logs, and then you've got Lego, and you're trying to muscle in in the middle there. And yeah, of course it doesn't work. Who was selling these? Fun time products. Out of Fairfax, Virginia. Oh, Gyro Gear Loose Story. Oh, here we go. The Dingo Kid Strips a Thief with Joe Namath. A few years later, that would be replaced by the uh, Chuck Berry uh, Keys of Knowledge, a chimpanzee. Well, you don't want a chimpanzee. Here we go, Joke. Jokes by Cracky, number seven. And of course, those jokes are probably sent in by kids. We don't get any remuneration. With love from Charlie Brown. Six great Charlie Brown TV specials and six glorious volumes. Go your enterprises, yep. Don't know what that's worth now, but. And for you guys keeping track, it's Charlie Brown All Stars, Charlie Brown Christmas. He's your dog, Charlie Brown. It's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. You're in love, Charlie Brown. It was a short summer, Charlie Brown. For $12.95. One dollar should be in your future in the graphic arts as a printing craftsman. Yes, you could come work for us. Key number four. Collect them all. I don't know if those exist anymore. Scamp, of course. Chip and Dale stamp and coin collector's corner. Because, of course, this is Whitman Gold Key. I think at the time they still had the, the Whitman catalogs. Oh, I think that was. Oh, Josie and the Pussycats. 45 RPM records. From Kellogg's. Mail order form, yeah. For each record order, I include 35 cents and two box tops. With Frosted Flakes or Fruit Loop cereal. I wonder what, that's, I wonder what those stories are. Because everybody knows that Archie's did did, did records. But on a Vista Esquire, you can high tail it. Ooh, Gold Key Comics Mini Comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Typical. Yep, seen that before. Wah, wah. Remember what the rat race is? Even if you win, you're still a rat. Ooh, ABC Super Saturday Club. 50 cents membership kit, which gets you a membership card. The Super Saturday Club newsletter. Premium coupons. Special premiums that reduce prices. Super Saturday button, decals and stick ons, pennants, club poster, and a stamp album. And again, as a kid, I would have loved to have received it. Oh, here we are. Here's the full time. Oh, this is great. This might be one of the earliest ones. Okay. Super Saturday on ABC. Casper the Friendly Ghost. Smokey Bear Show. The Catanooga Cats. Hot Wheels. 
The Hardy Boys, Skyhawks, The Adventures of Goldal, and Fantastic Voyage. And of course, almost all of those have been forgotten. I only remember Smokey Bear because I had the Gold Key comics that tied in with it. The Hardy Boys, wow. And this looks, oh, it's a Mad Magazine. Uh, I want to say Silverstone, but I think I might be wrong. Matchbox Cars. In life, Captain Crunch, Quake, and Quisp. Yes, Quake was a kind of one. There you go. Quisp just I saw and then had been reissued somewhere. I think I saw it at Walmart. Ooh, that's a here's a nice ad. From General Foods, have a ball free with post cereals, have a ball seals. Alphabet, Super Sugar Crisp. Back when they still use sugar in the title. Crispy Critters. And Sugar Rice Crinkles. God. I don't even remember that. That tells you just how, how much Kellogg's is corn on the market. When corn flakes and Rice Krispies. Anything else? The other brands, they can't even try to market. A tr they don't even try to trademark. They just say, yeah, here's our puff rice cereal. You know? They can call it corn flakes. It's like, yeah. You want real stuff? You're making Rice Krispie treats? You didn't use Rice Krispies? Now you can finish high school at home. 50 years ago. Times haven't changed much, have they, folks? Nope, no cerebrum. <sighs> Earth is still dying, still choking. Hey, kids! How about a nice Hawaiian punch? Or a genuine Kennedy half dollar. What for your favorite Hawaiian punch flavor? I don't even know if these exist anymore. I only knew the uh, fruit juicy red, I think it was called. Sunshine orange, grape grape, lemon pink, apple red, berry berry, pineapple. Fruit juicy red. That's that. That's the only one I remember. And man, I don't know what it is, but that. Uh, fruit juicy red, you put that in the refrigerator cold. I think it might be, I don't know if it's glycol in there or whatever, but there's something in there that gets cold, it doesn't freeze, it gets colder than normal water, normal liquids, soda even. That fruit juicy red Hawaiian punch, cold, is like I don't know, like 30 degrees or something. It's just, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't freeze in your mouth, but it is cold. It's like the coldest drink I've ever ever tasted. And it's good. Oh, yeah, I know it's popped full of sugar, but God. Fruit juicy red. Ooh, or not. Yeah. Okay, that one. I'm just going to go through these Walt Disney comics and stores. Ooh, Wanted, a pair of ugly mugs for only 75 cents. And these are Italian with Flintstones vitamins. Back when they came in flask and glass bottles. There we go, 1970. Western Publishing Company, Northern. Gold King Design is a trademark of Western Publishing Incorporated. Big, bold letters. 20 of Walt Disney's most famous characters decorating your child's room for $1. Artboard. Not decals, but actual artboard. Whatever artboard is. Oh, they all just virgin pulp. The close shades of Pauline Peril. That'll be coming up in a different. That's uh so it's going to be a TV series or a series, and it just ends on one or two. Summer fun for boys and girls, 50 cents. And on this, I don't know if these really should say is how many pages is this, but they don't. And red ball jets, anything at all you could ever you could ever, ever want to do shoes. Ball band. Mishawaka, Indiana. Yeah, I think they're trying to be kids. As a chemist, airline stewardess, your future. I don't know if anyone's ever, I'm sure someone's collected this. Okay. Okay. 
What else we got here? Zuby Dooby Dooby. This one's in pretty good condition, actually. Yeah. Same old, same old. What's this one? No. 132 piece Roman soldiers. Two complete Roman armies. No, I want Romans and like Visigoths with cardboard cutouts so I can burn Rome as I sack it. It doesn't take much to make me happy. No, not really. Dig these. New 40 snap tight. I love those snap tight models on this kid because you didn't have to glue them. Monogram a child. I don't know who owns it now. AMC? Who knows? But man. Because, yeah, the model blue was the worst thing. Nope, not perfect. There's nothing in there, but good solid comment. Not a lot of uh, dog ears. Uh oh. Here's where it gets weird, folks. You ready for this? Life by Kenner. And this is, I think this has, been come, has made a comeback. It, these were pretty amazing. Uh, it's, wow, that doll's eyes change color. Just pull her ring on her eyes change color. Watch. Groovy green, bouncy brown, beautiful blue, pretty purple. And, of course, there are outfits to go with it. And this, I think, became a thing in Japan, as many things do. And they brought back, they re-engineered um, the mechanics of it. And I think they gave it, oh, it's like having Donald, it's a Viewmaster. This is from 1972. Sometimes the Viewmaster views you. Remember that I just saw? Here it is again. That ad. You got to work for it, Daisy. What? You're going to fuck me, teacher? No, I don't Come on, Bill. That's a BB gun. Yeah, well, I'll shoot your eye out. Billy, I'm going to have to tell your parents. What do you think brought me the gun? I learned it from you, Dad. And I learned it from my dad. And he learned it from his dad. We're a bunch of crackpots that go way back. Win a Sears Free Spirit Bike. Kellogg's fourth annual stick up for breakfast. Advertising Fruit Loops, Frosted Flakes, Kellogg's Sugar Smacks. They still call them Smacks? Do they even sell it anymore with the frog? I don't think so. Apple Jacks, Rice Krispies, and Sugar Pops. Apple Jacks, Apple Jacks, Apple Tasty, that's for a fact. Apple do and Tasty too, Kellogg's Apple Jacks. I'll probably get a takedown on this from that. Cracky, time of my hands. Wow, a rare Cracky Gold Key 1977 Hostess Fruit Pie ad. You thought I was making that up, but no, there he is. Probably the only ad. Cause, help, my new invention is running away with me. I have a clock that keeps running. Wow. Okay. We're on an hour now. <laughs> I've only done this much. The rest will probably just keep, I mean, most of it's going through and just looking at ads, but again. So, yeah. Thank you, brother. Hopefully you enjoyed that as well. There's some crazy stuff in there. You know, maybe I should scandals in and start a website somewhere or post to Facebook. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. This is an hour of, <laughs> gosh, probably 30 comics there. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. I did, which is why I do this. And I still got this much. So a quarter of that box has been done. 
I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep going this. Man. Wow. Good stuff. Okay, anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll see me real soon. Keep reading comics. If you find stuff like this, these old gold keys, buy them. Even if this you know, if they're more than a dollar a comic, then buy them if you recall the characters or it looks crazy for you, like it looks something weird. Otherwise, yeah, just buy them. They're fun reads. You just leave them in the in the bathroom. Read a few. Read a story while you're there. Discover something crazy like like I just did. So anyway, good stuff. Good good stuff. Um, this isn't even. Don't even, I have some? I think this is mostly gold keys. And then there was maybe a small bit of Dennis the Menace, some Harveys, but again, kids comics. So we'll see what else we can come up with. What else we'll find? I got Tom and Jerry on the other side here. Scam, don't know that story on by title, but again, the insides are just the same thing over there. So one more. The annual Christmas title. We have get a color changing canned wizard from Cooley. Again, back in the 70s, these companies did these promotions. I was a nap earlier. What has one eye goes flash in the night, makes everyone smile, and costs less than ten dollars. That's a dot ad. Spoiler: It's a camera. Anyway, so <sighs> I love comics. Hope you do too. I hope you'll see me real soon. Till then, good night. Have a great weekend.